What's up people, MJ back with another video. Instead of doing trainers that have been delivered, I thought I'd do a brief rundown of the things that I got hold of today, which is miraculous. Quick heads up. One, match cords, Snoop Dogg ones that got delivered a couple of days ago yesterday, I think, from, from Zoomers in the US. Big shout out to Megan. I said in the last video it was really hard. It seems to be like a six or seven hour time difference. To try and communicate is really hard. Shoes arrived and although I was super excited, Dropped her an email and said, look, I'm an avid collector and the box sitting in sound means quite a lot to me. Although I'm super happy with the shoes, the service, that's from Zoom is the in-between part, so UPS I'm guessing. The way it got to me, I just wasn't overly happy with it. She emailed me back, took about a day to communicate, but she did. And she said, we'll send you a whole new pair, completely free of charge. Get it all sent out to you as soon as possible. Kudos to Zoom is doing that, that's awesome. I'm having a new pair of match cords coming soon. I'm getting them on the channel. Yeah, I know. Really like that. But it's really nice if they're not something they had to do, you know. They're in the US, so they could have just ignored it, really. Back to today's finds, as it were. I was with my girlfriend, we were doing a bit of shopping. I walked past the charity shops in my local town. I saw this beauty, hardback version of console wars absolutely brand new it entails of oh, $30 $28.99 so close to $30 it's immaculate I have read it and everywhere online it said it's a fantastic read Blake Harris so I thought brilliant get it and give it a read see what it's all about apparently it's about the 16 bit console war and while I was in that charity shop randomly I asked the guy, do you, because they had like a game section full to the brim of the EA Sports game, every FIFA game you could possibly imagine every year, all for about 20 pence. I said to him, have you got any games for consoles or other than what you've got out? He said, yeah, we've got a bag out back if you're interested. Obviously, I said, yes. So, we got the bag out, and that's what it was. I took one look in it and thought, I've got to have it, just got it. All these that sway me straight away. Games still in the box, absolutely mint. So I said, Yeah, I'll take the whole bag. I didn't even bother looking at it. He said, Give me £10 when it quits. I said, Yeah, no worries. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. I just couldn't believe it. In the interest, it's Predator with Jaguar. Wow, £54. I was just dumbstruck. It's complete. The instruction manual is in better day, don't get me wrong. It's there. The cartridge is still in the little Atari bag. One of the big problems with the Atari cards were they were like these two little dimples in the top. If you see them stick in there and one there. Most times, not when I found them anyway, little horrible children push those through so the card sticker is ripped. But it's mint. Absolutely beautiful. And what shocked me even more, the controller overlays were there. Can you believe it? Each one still with the notoriously easy to pull off controller holders. So I was blown away with that. Yeah, alright, the box has seen better days, but at least it's there. And then, head away on a massive SNK. Massive. Love my AES, CDZ and CD, and my pocket. Can you believe? King of Fighters round two, card fighters clash, baseball stars, colour symbol, metal slug. All still in the little cartridge cases, instruction manuals, even right down to three different manuals for each region and the little Japanese warranty card. Probably says what well, official European names. A lot of this stuff I already have. The sake of a tenner, I thought, and again, I knew it is by the book. Tony Hawks, the end gauge. Unfortunately, this isn't there. Okay, you want to, you want to. I think I want to. I think I will. This completely shocked me, as in Europe, we never had it. We never got the console. Mario Land, 300 points. It hasn't got the inside sleeve where the cartridge would sit. But sure enough, the cartridge is there with a brilliant condition sticker and the always lost cartridge covers. Instruction manual, mint. 
Running Mint Yellow you know, Box. See, better days. That's my new phrase for today. Better days. Look, it's all there. Look at my new me. The GBA. Still with a cellophane on. Alright, slightly grey condition. It's an American version too. The SRV rating. And the black and white is one of the blacks. It's always black in American games. It's indigo on the pound. Instruction manual is there. The inside cartridge thingy is there. Everything is intact. No mint instruction manual. Look at my cartridge. A few random DS games. Star Fox Commander. If you're returning to the channel, you'll see that recently I got an N64 car. Late night, Lion of Wars, Star Fox 64. Star Fox Command, all that, everything. Mario 64 DS. Again, it's an American version. And with this one, the receipt for you. Raven Game, the movie. November 27th, 2004. If anyone has made £10, it's all bad. Children of Manor. I'm told this is a fantastic game. Still sealed. Well, I say still sealed. Pre owned item, so it's pretty good game. Never opened it. And an e reader for the Game Boy Advance. And it's got some games with it. It's the e reader pad, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers. Someone kept all the bits of paper and things like that. And the e reader itself. Awesome. Random dusty yes one pad. A little bit bashed up, batteries of me too, in the back, but the original Game Boy, you can't beat the original Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, and it's missing the secondary screen, someone has got to me that off. Game Boy Color with actual replay cart and some batteries. Yay! And the screen isn't in bad condition. It's a bit dusty, you can do it a clean. I keep my stuff absolutely mint. But I'm doing great little fire and a bag full of Game Boy games. This is amazing. Couldn't believe it. I've said that a few times in the video as well. Game Boy camera, again, a little dirty, but you know, make it clean. I'm sure it'll still work. Doctor Mario, Turok, Capcom's DuckTales, Lemmings. Super Mario Land 2, Super Mario Land, Ta-da! Pokemon Crystal, love it. Tetris, Game Boy Gallery, five games in one. Radar Mission, never heard of it. Tamagotchi, on the huge tamagotchi. And Super Mario Land 3, Mario Land. Very interesting. Also, randomly, looks to read on those. Cheap Game Boy cards that you find on holiday. It's got no cover, those props instantly tell you. Counterfeit cartridge. And randomly, a copy of Tekken Advanced. So I thought that was completely random in all places in the giant shop in Worcester. I found all these classic games. Goes to show you what is around. I wasn't expecting for one second there to be anything like this. And to get it all for £10, bonus. Thought I'd share that with you guys. No trainers are coming today to. Monday, looks like the next day of delivery. Hope you like the content. Please, guys, give the video a thumbs up. You helping me helps you. Itch and somewhere here, it's the subscribe button.